All right, 7.32, getting ready to take the Yaris to go to work. Hopefully we'll make it, we'll see. Well, guess what? Exact same thing happened as before. Exactly to the letter. Dash died. And then the steering went out and then the accelerator stopped. So, I don't know what's going on with this thing. Has a new alternator on it. And it drove fine up to this point, but now we're at Liberty Hill Church. So, we're at Red Cross, basically. So, I don't know what to do. I, I don't know. So, I guess the question is, do I just keep cutting off, letting it sit for a while, and then going back? Or what? And, get it, and just get it to Charlotte? Because, I mean, that's where it needs to be. But uh, the problem is, I don't know that I want to drive in Charlotte traffic with this. Can you imagine? I mean, you've seen the videos of what Charlotte traffic is like. You know, I can't, I don't know what I'm going to be able to do. Do we really want a Mosquito Authority vehicle, like, blocking traffic? I don't think so. It's not good for business. Um, but the thing is, I've got to go with Marge Davis today, so... I, I don't know. He's got. He's gonna be there at eight. I gotta get all the stuff. So, uh, so yeah, I don't know what to do. All right. So, here's the update. We're still sitting here. Um, we don't know what's going on with it. I got up with Jamie. He didn't know. I don't know what to do. Um, messaged uh, Patrick, and uh, he said uh, message. Brandon, so I think Brandon's gonna come get me because he lives in Midland. Because I've got to be with Martavis today, so I I can't wait around on this thing. And uh, I mean, worst case scenario, I'll just pay for the alternators because I don't want to just listen to it. So I may have to do that. So I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna get home. So we'll see. All right. 547 we're taking the uh, uh, I don't even know what truck this is it's a little smaller truck um, we had a uh, some we had a, a pest control do this morning we had a fire ant job uh, and, a, and a German roach job in all the way in Clover South Carolina so we got back awful late and uh, but we got got it done we just didn't get that one one job we had to bump off because of uh it was so late and he has to go get his kid by seven so i was like we got to go um but yeah so we're going to try to drive the truck home and hopefully it'll work <laughs> fingers crossed i don't understand this like that car stopped at least three car lengths behind that other What's up with that? All right, so I just got home. It is now 6.57. I, I don't know, people. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. You didn't get your toy. Get your toy out. Get your toy. Um, I gotta get the garbage can. Um, I've got to, I got Santa Claus from Disney. It might be my lightsaber. I'm not real sure. If it is, you'll see it. Got to walk the dog. Got to feed the dog. Got to feed myself. And I kind of, I got to sort out, am I going to drive the van tomorrow? Or am I going to drive the truck? The work truck. Because I've got a tattoo appointment tomorrow at 5 o'clock. So I don't think I can, uh, I don't think it'd be in my best interest to drive the work truck to the tattoo appointment and leave it sitting there for three hours in the parking lot and then try to drive it home. So I probably need to drive the van tomorrow um, so that um, I can go to my appointment. Uh, but if I drive the car, the truck, uh, 
then I can at least get all this extra crap off of it. It's got like 50 gallons, maybe. I don't know. It's got a lot of water in it. I can feel it sloshing around. Need to pump that out. Um, and that would help a lot with it stopping because it's a little truck. I mean, it's like got a ton of stuff in it. Also, can kind of maybe check the air pressure in the tires because I'm pretty sure the back tire is low. Um, and it was making some funny noise. I thought it was exhaust, but exhaust on the other side. So I think it's maybe the wind blowing off the bucket or something that's in the back. I don't know. It's just, it's a piece. Um, so I don't know if I should drive the truck and try to get that done. Uh, I don't know. We're going to walk the dog and feed him, and then I'm going to uh, go get the trash can, and then we'll sort it out. That's all I know. All right, well, I got the dog walked. I think I'm going to drive the work truck back to work, and it's going to get the stuff off of it, and if it breaks down, well, it's just going to have to break down. And if they got an issue with me um, using it for my appointment tomorrow, then they can just drive me home. And I'll drive the van until the yard is ready. Because they're going to have to, at some point, come get it anyway. So, you know, that's how it is. Um, but now, I'm opening my Disney stuff. Okay, here we go. Count Dooku. Maybe I can get it open. Ba blam Look at that bad boy. This thing, look at this. We're gonna let it warm up to operating temperature, and I'll put the old blade in it. Looks pretty snazzy, doesn't it? It's crazy. That's actually cheaper than my Ventress one. I'm not sure why it is, but it is. So, yeah. Got a saber. In a cool box. What does this piece of paper say? I don't know how about saber, whatever. There you have it. Lightsaber. So, it's, uh, I need to go get the trash can. Um, so, I'm going to go do that. It's like about 7.13 now. And I need to figure out what I'm going to eat for supper. Because... 7.13 and uh, yeah so <laughs> I mean you know what am I supposed to do people I mean anybody I don't know I don't know what to do this is crazy isn't it is this crazy am I crazy I don't know it's, yes <sighs> but I mean I don't know. We uh, it was it was good going with the pest tech today. Um, he's an older guy, not older than me, because <laughs> nobody's older than me uh, except BJ's dad. But um, yeah, he's older than me. Um, so we, I kind of showed him how I do things, and uh, you know, it it went pretty good. It just you know the the German roach job was kind of kind of hinky because. We get there, and she did have German roaches in the kitchen, um, but they had three toddlers, um, three adults, a cat, and a dog. They put the dog outside, but the toddlers are all, I'm just running around with no shoes on, so uh, none of the cabinets cleaned out, nothing. So, you know, we did what we could do. Um, fortunately, they, get, they paid for three treatments, so first treatment's kind of like a, all right, this is what you need to do, and we put down some growth regulator and... Did some flushing and used the HepaVac to vacuum up as many roaches as we could, which is probably about 30 or 40, I think. So we physically removed those from the property so they won't reproduce at our house. Um, and we'll call her back in a week and then we're going to go back and, and hit it really hard um, at that point. So, you know, I, it, it feels like we didn't really do a good treatment for them. You know, and I think Mark Chavis kind of got the same vibe. And he's just kind of like, I just feel like we didn't do a good job. I'm like, well, here's the deal. This kid's there. I mean, we, we, we can't 
blast it like we normally would. We got to, you know, we, we put a little bit of chemical down. We did a little bit of stuff, probably got it started. I said, I agree with you. We didn't do a good treatment at all, but we could not because nothing was prepped. It was Nobody was ready to leave. So, you know, and it was in South Carolina. So this is kind of what happens is they were like, hey, you know, got two fire ant jobs. You think you can do catch that? A, a roach job and I'm like three jobs yeah I could get that done okay cool and then we have a, 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 a pest control before all that stuff I didn't say anything about that but it's like okay so I'm kind of training in my way so take we're not really rushing but we're definitely going through um you know I'm, I'm taking my time I'm he's watching me do it essentially and I'm talking to him while I'm doing what I'm doing why I'm doing it that kind of thing and then we happened to look in the German roast jobs in South Carolina, like way the hell down there. And I'm like, you didn't mention that because it was an hour drive down there, an hour drive back. So this is what happens is it looks like, oh, well, you only did three jobs all day. Well, this is kind of true, but you need to ask yourself why did I do three jobs. And I mean, I don't know. And then also the, uh, sprayer that I got, which we inherited from another company, so it's not my company's fault necessarily, but it just would not stop clogging up, just nonstop, and I know uh, Will used it yesterday, and I usually have like a bread tie tied to the, you know, the side of it, so that way you can use that to clean the tip out, because it's a really fine tip, and he told, he told me his, uh, it was clogged yesterday when he called, and so I said, hey, there's a bread tie on the side, use that, clean it out. And let me know if it didn't work. And he cleaned it out and it worked. He's like, oh, it works. Cool. And uh, I guess he either forgot to put the bread tie back on there or something. So I might, there were pine needles trying to like clean this thing out because it wasn't there. So I fought with it on the first house and I knew it was going to be a problem. And then we get to the second house. And of course, like every single tip, I, it's, it's, it's a four way tip, every single one of them clogged up. So I'm like trying to spray inside this person's house and it keeps clogging up. So it's just, the, the problem is, is the person that had it before our company had it did not take care of it. And it's just, it's just in disarray. Um, not having the proper thing to clean it with too was also a problem, but I didn't realize that till we got, you know, we left the office. And of course we had to leave late because as you can see by this video, I broke down the side of the road again. So we didn't get started at, you know, eight sharp like we should have. We didn't get, so we started about, I got there at 8.30. He got there at 8.30. And uh, by the time we loaded everything he needs on that truck, because, of course, he didn't have none of the firing and stuff. He's never done it before. Loaded all the bags that we had to load yesterday. It was like 9.30. So, you know, if you get a 9.30 start... And then you do a two-hour training thing at a house that your sprayer keeps clogging up. And then you have to do a fire ant job, which he's never done, which that didn't take that long. And then we had to drive the, an hour to South Carolina. And then that was we were trying to, like, get stuff working, and it was, you know, it, she just wasn't prepared for it. So, and again, not our company's fault with that because we don't really know because people don't know what they got. They I got roaches. Well, what kind of roaches? It depends. Oh, I don't know. It's the little ones. Well, are they all little or some of them little? Well, some of them are little, some of them are bigger. It's like, oh, God, that helps. Thanks. I mean, it ain't like everybody's got smartphones. But so we don't really know what we're walking into. And if we're, if it's like a bigger roach, like a palmetto bug, what people call it, um, some people call it water bugs, um, in that application, you don't need to clean your cabinets out. You don't have to, like, leave the house for three or four hours. You don't have to because most of the treatment's from the outside. We, we don't know going down there what it is. So, you know, and you don't want to tell somebody to do all that if they don't have to. So, you know, it was just kind of like an initial thing, but, man, it was crazy. So, I don't know. And I think Corinne's having a bad week, too. So, we, together, me and her are just not doing well at all. Um, it's Friday tomorrow, though, so that's that's a plus, but, you know. Eesh, what a crazy, I, I don't know, it's just going to be a crazy winter, I think, and it was cold, 
So, of course, I had to stand outside in the freezing cold again this morning. So that's always fun. So I just don't know, man. It's it's crazy. Um, I'm sorry it's just a bunch of yapping on this video, but, I mean, I can't really videotape while I'm with my technician. That's not real professional. Um, so, you know, and I can't tape in the dark when I'm walking the dog or driving home and it's dark. So yeah, it's it, it kind of is what it is. Um, but again, I'm just documenting what's going on. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's insanely frustrating. And I think this is almost therapeutic to me to get to, cause I can't, I can't go through all this stuff with Corinne. I mean, she just had a crappy day too. Do you think she wants to sit and listen to this mess? Heck no. I don't really have any friends that want to listen to it on a daily basis. So by me getting to do this, I feel like I get to kind of express um, some of my frustrations, some of my uh, uh, defeated feeling, that kind of thing, and it makes me feel a little better about the way things are. So I've yet for eight minutes, so I'm going to go get the, the garbage can. And maybe tomorrow we'll make it to work. We'll see. It'll be a new adventure.